Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, now can we just have a quick recap or five minutes, five, 10 minutes? What we have sort of everyone are on the same page. Yeah, sure. sure. Just. Uh, so, Ismail Bhai, uh, you want us to uh, just tell you where just, we started and uh, where we are currently, right? Yeah, correct. Because it will be helpful. Right, yeah. So, we can have a quick recap, so that. Yeah. So, we started with the five pillars which you explained. And after that, we explained the 10 uh, uh, things. Process groups, knowledge process, areas. Yes, knowledge areas, right. So, after that, we just uh, discussed about uh, the methodologies, what all methodologies we have, uh, about the uh, methodologies of the project management agile. correct so yeah project life cycle the, the requirement what project manager basically yeah the, what project manager basically does what is, is uh, uh main uh, roles of a project manager we talk on the absolutely yeah, yeah. And currently uh, we are uh, so right now we are on the uh, agile but yeah. the, uh, you're just uh, telling uh, the data gathering techniques. We also discuss about the tools. Right. But, uh, yeah. The tools, techniques, and uh, uh, and then we talked about uh, the pro project program portfolio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, tailoring, uh, how we can do the about tailoring of the project. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now coming through the uh, data gathering techniques, you know. What are the data gathering techniques? We have brainstorming, interviews, you know, focus groups, like question and surveys. So we we take the requirement through questionnaires and surveys. We have we'll form the focus groups like a, a team of well uh, domain experts. You know, they will subject matter expert. They are, they are they are well qualified into the knowledge areas the on the on the subject matter. They will uh, they will regroup. Uh, and they will so focus on on specific requirement, right? Let's say if you're talking about the banking domain project, so one of the model uh, uh, risk or uh, credit uh, uh, thing would need to be then. Then there's a uh, subject matter experts. Experts will be there. So they those guys they will get involved into one closed doors, and then they will discuss on the requirement. And final the output will be the uh, requirement. That requirement will share it to one minute guys i'm getting on call as long as Uh, sorry guys yeah so we are uh, <laughs> i was just talking about on the focus groups focus groups are nothing but those guys who have who are well qualified they are subject matter expert and to their domain uh, they form they will go uh, if a customer is having uh, requirements uh, let's say a project banking domain or a 
oil and gas industry anyone they have they want to develop a project okay they they have certain set of business requirements to be delivered so those guys subject matter experts they will uh, uh, focus uh, they will call as a focus group they go into the closed doors and they will uh, discuss on the requirement and then finally they will come up with a uh, output saying that this is what the customer's expectation this is what we have to deliver it this requirement they will give it to the project manager clear yes yeah okay and then next is another question and surveys this question and surveys they will what they will do we will prepare a list of questions they will ask and then uh, we'll send this requirement to the stakeholder saying that this is what it is this is what it is one two three kind of thing so once we said then he will answer to those things then that will form as a requirement for you so that will form as an evidence also saying that okay this is what we have agreed this is my scope this is how i'm gathered the requirement this is another technique we do the capturing of the requirements and then benchmarking so so benchmarking one what when we will do when this uh, uh, then uh, initially you have agreed one scope okay after some point of time the scope has changed so we will compare the actual scope to the new scope and then uh, saying this is what the benchmark is my benchmark was uh, uh, i have agreed for 10 set of requirements but you have uh, now the new set of requirement it came 12 something like that or 15 something like that those will be measured those benchmarking what will uh, this will be helpful like if you are getting a similar set of project in future then you can take that as a benchmark okay uh, you can uh, uh, prepare a case study for that one and then uh, when you are bidding for the new set or new customer similar kind of a project they said this is the benchmark right yeah okay, okay. then another set of alternative analysis then documentative analysis right alternative as a different type of skill sets right different skills are involved so those are this is also another you do the analysis once you get you gather the data right now you gather the requirement that that requirement you need you need to do the analysis right so then uh, once you do the analysis then you do the document document that analysis then you once you do that document then you will uh, uh, you do the uh, estimation for that one against this one thing clear yes okay then process analysis another thing area then root cause analysis root cause analysis it is on mainly on to the uh, support let's say you are you are getting 100 tickets right on the same area right similar repetitive incidents you are getting so in order to get the why you are getting the on one area why you are getting the repetitive incidents so what do you do you do the problem management for that incident and then at the, in the in, in parallel you do the root cause analysis why what happened what is the root cause for this for that my tickets uh, see on one module we are getting 100 tickets so when you do the root cause what will happen you come to know the uh, area where you need to target and then you work on that area and you fix that area so that in future you will not get say, a repetitive set of incidents or defects clear any doubt on root cause Analysis. This is mainly for the support guys who are on the maintenance, who are who are executing maintenance projects, right? Yeah. So if a motor is purposes, it yeah. comes, root cause comes on the quality purposes also. Correct, exactly. It is the quality purpose also. True. Very Analyzing much. the 
process yeah. how it works right right <laughs> the next is the interpersonal and team skills this is very much important for the project manager so project manager act he should be always active listening you need to uh, you need to listen to your stakeholders what they are discussing when they are you need to listen to your team members right so uh, get the uh, uh, get and then and there any cl any clarification are there you need to as a project manager you need to speak up saying that uh, you should not have any kind of a doubt or a uh, question mark in your mind saying that okay this is it should not a project manager cannot do any assumption you need to be crystal clear on each and every activities you need to be active listening to each and uh, when the customer is talking or the stakeholder is talking or your team member is talking you need to re uh, record it and saying that don't have any assumptions clear because if you make any as if a project manager make any assumption that means uh, the project is under threat right yeah okay and then facilitation so a project manager has to facilitate with each and every people as i said he is a, he is the heart of the heart and soul of the project who is taking care of who is talking to coordinating with the stakeholders he is coordinating with the uh, uh, team members he is coordinating with the vendors he is talking to the ma internal management he is talking to external ma management and he is uh, uh, <coughs> establishing the procedures policies everything <coughs> hello any someone is saying something no 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 you can carry on okay so he is a basically he is a coordinator each and everything he needs to coordinate you know uh, and get the things get the things done and and uh, result for the project manager is the output has to be come at, at any given point of day on a day to day basis what what he, what he has achieved what his team has achieved how you have communicated to the customer right this is all he, has, he needs to take care of that. But is are there anything is lacking so that he can uh, improve the next uh, going forward? And whatever the lessons learned, right? As a project manager, you need to uh, record it, saying that it will be helpful to you as well as uh, for the organization as well. Saying those lessons, looking at those lessons that uh, in future, if you are executing any similar kind of project they can go and uh, revert to those lesson learned and then they can uh, okay the project now we have executed we have done so and so mistake so we should not be repeating the same mistake in this project coming forward yeah then as a project manager you need to show the leadership skills this is more important you need to be a problem solver you need to be a problem solver not a problem creator right so you need to uh, have the everything in handy saying that in terms of uh, uh, mom minutes of meeting you need to record every meeting you need to have a, as a good practice to project manager um, you need to have a minutes of meeting i it it it, it, uh, it, it is not mandatory you need to have a prepared template something like that whatever the things you are talking to anyone just record it, put it on a paper, black and white, so that you will be safeguard, right? Uh, the question is that they will ask you, where is the dog? Where is the proof? Right? So you will, you can go and revert back and saying that prepare, have a structured way of you know, uh, as a as a good project manager, you need to have a structured way of documenting. Okay. Uh, initiation phase pre have one uh, project initiation phase initiation you have one one folder planning one folder right 
execution another folder like this when you executing these are the different different folders you need to create that on a day to day basis communication are one folder right stakeholder management one folder all the, whatever the stakeholder management uh, documents it should go over there whatever the communication you are talking minutes of meeting and uh, your email communication uh, or whatever the uh, a sign off everything your it should be on one folder uat sign off one folder so it should be a structured way so that's where you come up with the, your leadership skills and uh, your uh, uh, presentations how you are preparing the presentation it should go in one folder so sort of as, as in when when you can't uh, in during uh, a stakeholder meeting you can't uh, if you ask so and so um, uh, defect template it should immediately you go and search over there and take it and show it to your management saying this is what it is so if someone what are the way if someone asks where is the risk where uh, where you captured your risk go to risk management folder yeah, okay this is what the risk this is what we talked about so that's where your leadership come into picture an effective project manager that's where you bring your value add to the organization right any questions on this one and at the same time you can you have to motivate so, your team members also <clears throat> yeah tell me how please. to conduct the meetings pardon to conduct meeting weekly Huh. Conduct, uh, monthly conduct meeting. See, we are one is if uh, if you ask me, you need to have a daily one stand up meeting. Daily have a one stand up meeting, fifteen minutes, not more than that. The stand up meetings will be like for the just for the uh, on day daily basis progress. As for daily. project management, we'll be having. Uh, weekly once like what is the progress of the project that, and that, 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 that that is different See, on a weekly weekly meeting is another thing in a week you are what you are monday uh, monday to monday what you have first thing there you see that what are the deliverables were there and what you uh, what you have achieved okay whereas the stand up meetings it will help you in uh, you know coordinating okay where you got stuck what help you need from me what help you need from your colleagues what help you need from the stakeholder right so if you get on a day to day 15 minutes not more than that don't uh, then don't prolong your meetings for uh, uh, just for the sake of stand up meeting don't come up on one hour two hour that is not a good practice you know to have a predefined 15 minute talk to each and every member chris and clear what exactly you are stuck okay where you are stuck you what help you need finish <clears throat> then as a project manager uh, resource a he needs help resource b he needs this thing so then you you plan your day activities and then if you have to talk to the stakeholder manager okay this is where i got stuck i need help on this thing you communicate to stakeholder the main uh, project manager job is communication how you communicate that is more important if you are not communicating you are keeping it under your seat wrong at the end of the day you are the one going to be penalized that's where it is so communication is the more 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 important or managing the work also important everything if you are communicating then only you are managing right if you are not communicating that means you are not managing exactly okay so that's where it come your networking also come into picture how you are gelling up with your team members is being a project manager you can't say i am the boss no you are not the boss over there there is your technical resources are the boss but how you are getting the work done that is the skill of a project manager a good project manager he knows how to get the work done you don't have to be a technical mm -hmm. sit and do your uh, coding anything that's not your job but that certain set of people are there your job is to get the work done how you are getting it done it's a uh, uh, that's your skills talks about that's your leadership talks about right yes yeah, so in same uh, ismail bhai uh, like while we talking our drs direct reporting 
uh, when we are even discussing personal thing with them, we are taking the data for our business related or our project related. How he is comfortable, how he is like uh, doing well, and what the things in their mind. So accordingly, we can take our decision uh, related with the project. Uh, this See, is how the communication. Yes, yeah, so, sometimes, be, yeah, yeah, sometimes uh, what will happen? Like resources, you know, you need to understand the pulse of the resource. All right, then only you will be able yes. to get the work done. Exactly. So, so if you uh, if you sometimes the resources said, uh, I don't mind you talking to the some of the things personally. You can uh, you can talk personal, but you know, uh, but you are uh, but talking to something on the personal side, your work is getting it done. That I don't mind. You can do that. So what will happen if you talk uh, on a personal basis, on an individual basis, then their motivation will be high. Our oh, project manager is talking to me. So they, they will show interest to you. So you need to understand the pulse of the resource, what exactly is talking about. That. Then under once you ca uh, catch the pulse, right, then your work is easy. Same thing, it goes to your uh, stakeholder. So oh, it's a like people manage. Yeah, it's a, it's a people manage. Yeah, it's a people management. People manage because uh, because I am when uh, when I was our you know, customers uh, they will not provide the sign off. They'll throw us, you know how Saudis are. Mm. So uh, hopefully no one is there in Saudi, right? Uh, Saudi people are not joined, right? No, no <laughs> Saudis. <laughs> because they are very, they are very arrogant. <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, they'll throw uh, they throw they'll throw papers on your face and they won't uh, even uh, shame about it they'll talk shit about our the resources so so that's not a thing clear right uh, Islam. Islam alaikum. Alaikum, Islam. Uh, this is Sahir here. Uh, basically, I have been silently listening. Thanks for uh, getting to till this point. I had some very basic queries. Uh, uh, can I just raise them yeah, now? Or, please, uh, please. No, yeah, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. Yeah, because we are getting into a discussion where uh, it's like the pain points which project managers usually face. Correct. So just wanted to come to that point. Uh, I I am uh, basically from a technical background and have recently moved into a project management role, mm -hmm. and uh, I can correlate to whatever you are saying. Basically, uh, exactly, I'm in a similar situation right now. Okay? Before that, uh, uh, I have one of my colleagues also you know, who is like a pressure, okay, and she yeah. is put into uh, this role. So I just wanted to, from her perspective or in general for the other audience, if they are in similar situation wanted to ask you from a career perspective uh, mm -hmm. when should someone uh, think about a project management role that is the first question okay and second question is what are the pros and cons of being a project manager mm -hmm. and what are the skill sets that one should process uh, to be a, a effective or a successful project manager okay See, uh, yeah and just to answer your question right uh yeah uh, project management uh, is a is a job when you have attained certain level of skill sets right you can you cannot say i've just passed out i want to become a project manager no you cannot do that so you have spent some uh, good amount of uh, time on on executing the projects you are you understand the uh, uh, at least uh, i can say like uh, 3 years you should have spent on uh, leading a team Right. So, uh, see, unless and until you grow from small to top, right? You can't be at the top, and uh, if you are on the top, then you don't be. Uh, you know, you will not be knowing the uh, what the team members how they will be face, facing fe feeling the pressure. What the what is the what they will be uh, day to day activities of what they will be doing. So you should be knowing. You should grow as a ladder. So you be a developer, then go to a team management role. Then project lead, then okay. lead a project. That's how it should be. And then directly you can't go become a project manager. If you become a direct project manager, then what you will not be knowing the pain points of a, what a team does. You will not be able to execute the project because you will be you will just you will be just thinking as a manager. You will not be thinking as a uh, team. 
a project manager is not a manager a project manager is a team okay so you have to take your team forward he need he need a knowledge of cross level ah yeah yeah if you talk about the uh, pros pros is like you know you will be the uh, lime you will be always you will be in limelight okay so people think oh he is a manager you are a manager you will be you will be the boss but the cons cons are nothing but uh, uh, you have to spend your uh, uh, 12 to 14 hours of time every day as a manager as a developer he will sit he will work on specific task and he will go away eight hours he will work but and uh, as a project manager you can't uh, think as a developer since you are a manager right you need to work uh, double of the technical guys you need to take care of your stakeholders you need to take care of your my resources you need to talk to your internal management you need to talk to your uh, Uh, external uh, management and uh, if you have vendors you have to talk to vendors that is another headache so <laughs> is it the nature of the job or uh, is it the nature of the job itself that you have to stretch beyond your uh, yes, usual timelines it, yeah it's a, it's the nature of the job because you know project it it demands project manager demands okay <laughs> as a technical so, guy what he will do he will code for 8 hours and he will go away he don't he don't have to worry about other aspect but as a project manager you need to take care of your cost management will ask you why the why the cost has been on high if your resource is not coming on time or if your resource is not delivering on time the um, who is, management will catch as a project manager only right they will not catch to the resource right why you are not delivering okay developer is not uh, accountable Uh, a project manager is re- responsible and accountable for each and every activity management will ask why you didn't why you, why didn't you uh, 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 accounted as a risk why you didn't bring to your management notice that's the con okay. for you okay and, and in these scenarios it is pmo office that will assist us no so, pm how, how pm office pm office pm office will not assist you pm office what they will assist you they will assign they will identify the resources to you <coughs> okay if you are say let for example any critical resource is going on leave then you uh, inform to the pmo and your management saying that this is kind of a critical resource he is going on leave so i need a backup so the pmo assist he will he will provide the support to you Okay, and uh, you were mentioning a scenario uh, where uh, the customer might not be totally aligned with you. Let's say Correct. I am in a scenario assuming uh, that uh, my key stakeholder himself doesn't agree with the scope three. Huh. Okay. So in that, in, says, in, that, in, uh, that case, in that case, you need to uh, you need to sit with him and ex- uh, understand what what is his in uh, what is his uh, interest. Right. No, if it is a immature customer, if it is a immature customer and ah, yes. the uh, so uh, customers how, uh, what, project what, uh, lead or uh, project manager just wants to ensure everything everything falls within his uh, uh, cost and get wants to get everything done. How do we handle? No, that that, that, that uh, you need to take a stand with your uh, with your uh, for your organization. He said, "This is what it is." you t- that is why that is why i am saying that okay. no, as a project manager first define the scope get the sign off on the scope yeah that are, is where i am saying the ah, the, the customer are, is so lame he ah, doesn't understand the scope terminology then go he, to his uh, go to his boss he, bring says, it to his uh, you haven't given anything in specific no oh, that is wrong no that is you are right when we usually sign the pro, with the project sponsor correct uh, brother if what i'm saying the project sponsor that, himself is uh, uh, disagreeing with you what do we do in such a scenario project sponsor then you, you, you bring it to your management it has to just, you, okay, you, you bring it to your management yeah they will take care of that they should do that okay they should help you out okay. your job is to communicate okay 
that's all you have to do you can you can sit quiet and saying that sponsor is not agreeing so uh, you end up doing uh, 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 all the work for him with free of cost then yeah, yeah. your your cool. man, your management will come and ask you why did you ask why did you let me know then what answer okay. you will be having yeah 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 thanks thanks uh, smile uh, for uh, clarifying this yeah, very so same, same uh, as i told you right political awareness cultural awareness you should be aware of that you know the culture saudi culture how it is uh, in india if you are executing how the culture is that mad it matters a lot when you are executing a project right and political awareness is also very much important while executing the project so sometimes what will happen if uh, uh, if any i will give in a serious scenario where you know uh, while i was working with uh, wipro all of a sudden in 2011 egypt uh, uh, political turmoil has happened because of the we need to shut down our offices so that's a loss to the project impact uh, it has impacted our projects this one right so these are the things you need to consider if, when you are executing any projects so okay. i get to meet lot of people with different uh, temperaments i mean uh, different kind of uh, behavior correct yeah so just need to handle them and get the work done so that's yeah exactly at the end of the day your job is to get the work done yeah 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 so this is what all it is our this is all our uh, basic things as a project man you should be knowing right if you are uh, if you are taking care of that one then you are good if you are not taking care of all this thing then uh you are not doing your job as simple as that yeah 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 so now our uh, actual journey starts on to the as i mentioned right i will talk about the integration management so integration management this is what it is uh, scope schedule cost quality resource communication risk procurement stakeholders see this is touching everywhere this integration management it is touching everywhere in the plan scope it is in the plan initiation phase schedule is in the planning phase cost is in the planning phase execution phase risk is another plan is this you need to have in the initiation phase itself we need to identify the risk you need to add during the communications you need to identify during uh, whom you are going to communicate during the initial phase itself and the resource also you need to identify in the in uh, initiation phase quality what are the documents that you are going to have the quality procurement stakeholders stakeholders is a, in these are all part of initiation everything these are all you need to take care of the during the project in the initiation phase we have i told you right process groups these are the knowledge areas project integration is a first knowledge area so in during integration initiation phase you you will be uh, preparing the scope document right you will be uh, having the project charter will be preparing and then you will be uh, getting the scope done and then you will be finalizing the scope then schedule also will be preparing the project plan cost you will be preparing the how much cost uh, for me to deliver the project right then risk you will be identifying the risk initially itself okay this is all going through the project what kind of risk it you you foresee and then communication on weekly basis whom you need to communicate on a daily basis whom you need to communicate what are all the uh, documents i have to uh, share to customer either mom when you are going to have mom whether a weekly mom or a bi weekly mom steering community meeting when is going to happen steering committee meeting every quarter or every year or milestone based steering community meeting right resources how many what are the resources not only the uh, your technical resource other resources as well ops 
I'm talking about environmental factors. Those are the things, right? Quality, right? What, what are the quality documents? How you are measuring your quality? What is my schedule deviation? What are my effort deviation? And, and then uh, uh, financial call respect to qualities. What is my gross margin, right? Those are all the things, quality aspects. Procurement, what are the things that you need to procure for your project? Then identification of the stakeholders, whom you are, or who are my uh, stakeholders that I have to give a lot of weightage, right? There are, there are about 10 different stakeholders will be there, but all stakeholders are not one and the same. Everyone carries their own weightage. You need to take care of the way uh, to whom you need to have, uh, you need to gel with. How, how you are making your relationship with the uh, professional relationship, in the relationship in the sense, the professional relationship, not the your personal relationship. How you are making with them, how you are gelling up with them. So this will be helpful as a project manager, you know, getting, once your work is done, then you are getting the sign off on the project. Clear? Yes, yeah. Okay. So this is the integration of, you have five process groups. So that's what I told now. Integration covers all the five process groups, right from initiation, planning, execution, monitoring, and closing. Okay. It will be all the seven processes into one picture. This is processes, project and performance solution, project objectives. So first thing, what you will do, this is, you develop the project charter, right? This is this you will do it in the integration initiation phase. You develop the project charter. Then uh, project charter, what is will be having? I will come to the next part. Then you prepare the project management plan. Then direct and manage project work. Then manage project knowledge. Monitor and control project work. This is on the monitoring phase. Project integrated change control. This will form any changes come into picture. Like, you know, when you are executing the project, uh, scope you have already defined. Uh, customer has asked while well, execution of the project, you need to add some more features. So uh, where it will go? This, this is where you need to perform the integrated change control. And then the closing of the project. Right? This is touching each and every process group. You see this, right? Everywhere it is touching. Okay, so project charter. Project charter is nothing but it's a formal authorization letter to start your project. Unless and until there's a project charter, you cannot start the project. Right? Because it forms the baseline for your project. What you are going to deliver? What is your objective for the project? So with regards to project charter, uh, let's say I'm a partner implementing some SAP module for a customer. Mm -hmm. The uh, intent with which customer uh, is delivering this project, he will document it here in the project charter. Uh, the, as a partner implementing the module, uh, I will have a different uh, intent behind this, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. Your intent, customer intent to be your intent. You cannot okay. uh, deal. So let's say customer wants to deliver project A. You cannot deliver the project B, right? Then where no, uh, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, let's say for example, he's on a transformation journey, okay? Uh -huh. uh, using a ERP and I am a partner who is handling only the HMO within that. Okay. He has other modules as well let's say finance, uh, the Correct. CRM and other things. Right. But I, as a HR uh, delivery manager or HR project manager, my scope is uh, limited. Okay. Though it, though it affects the overall uh, project. Obviously. So that's where I, I was asking this. Yeah, that, that, that is what, I, so that's, that is where uh, you, are, you have a predefined set of uh, scope to be delivered. Whereas the customer is intending to have larger scope, correct? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's totally looking at a very big picture. Ah, then uh, then get that uh, put that into the document in the project charter. Yeah, 
yeah. what is intending what are the things that needs to, he wants that based on that project charter and everything will be prepared so that's okay. where the project charter the, that's where we got the scope okay so it it has impact it has impact on to your uh, uh, financial aspects also okay and thanks, the project thanks, charter has to be signed off everything whatever you do take the signature uh, signature you no, will be no, here i am a little confused uh, uh, initial slide we were saying uh, customer is uh, in a way responsible for having the project charter correct correct so customer it, you so you will work you will work along with the customer to prepare the to, to help him the project charter you will okay. be coordinating with him but you okay. will not write the project charter for your information yeah 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 so sign off who, who will do it in the in this yeah, case you, you help him and then sign off project chart so this is what it you mean collectively this, it has to be signed off or uh, ah, you mean, yeah, connect, uh, stakeholder sign off stakeholder take okay. sign off it doesn't get the mail approval yeah this is what it looks this is how my project charter looks like good okay you are agreeing to that uh, uh, what uh, what customer is intending and you are binding together okay we are on the same page we are talking in the same language if you are talking french he is talking uh, chinese then it will not work assalamu alaikum i have one doubt uh, a project yeah. charter uh, is specific to the project manager or it's a, uh, specific to the project because project i heard charter, project charter uh, no project charter is specific of, uh, to you know the vehicles uh, uh, driving license of a person uh, what is his name age or everything will be uh, detail in project charter before the project is going to start so is it uh, specific to one person or project manager or it's a overall uh, status for the project this is the overall of the status of the project it is the project not to the person dependent okay Uh, one more question, uh, Ismail. But the project charter yes. can be modified any time. Project charter, yes, it can be modified any time. But uh, at the end, uh, but again, it has implications. Everything again. Okay. You need to update. You can append that project charter. Okay. It's not a. It's not a bible. Okay, saying that, but I have defined this. This is what it is going to deliver. Mm-hmm. No, it cannot be. Okay, so it can be modified as well. Okay. Yeah, it can be. It can be modified throughout the life cycle of the project. It can modify. Okay. Any document can be modified, but at the same time, you need to have the uh, uh, buy-in, buy-in from the guy, from the stakeholder, buy-in from your management, and then record it, and then append the version, and then this is my uh, revised version. Okay. In the same session, Next just add question. that one. Yeah, uh, Ismail. In the initial uh, part of this uh, meeting, you highlighted saying that nowadays everybody is implementing agile kind of structure. Right. Nobody is exactly. going face to face. In that case, definitely the the scope will be keep on changing. Correct. Keep on keep changing. On definitely. So we keep yep. on changing the charter uh, every time, right? Correct. And also, I believe keep on the all other uh, uh, knowledge areas will be keep on uh, discussing. No, no knowledge areas cannot be. Knowledge areas will be same. but you are uh, you go and update your uh, documents uh yeah yeah i mean i mean not the knowledge areas but we have to discuss those part for example the scope is changing definitely the time will get changed and also the cost will also get changed yes, and resources everything. may yes. also need to get changed yes. so everything will be keep on changing every time maybe we may use the same charter maybe with the different versions am i right yes different versions will be there oh okay. so what is the first initially first you prepare one charter then version uh, version 1.0 then uh, requirement change scope change then you will add that thing your version 2.0 or version 1.1 correct exactly yeah yeah thanks is my because it has implications on your may I please yeah may I, may I please add a, add a point here uh, yeah you can the, brother you can our, add uh, now you can you can add yeah for our for our brother who asked about the sap i don't remember his name uh regard regarding project charter when the customer develops it he develops as a booklet for the full project and then whoever is working on that like hr finance once they finish it they need to submit it okay so uh, the customer cannot 
just make a project charter for hr and finance something like this if he okay. makes it for full and once once the department finishes he needs to submit that and then his scope is done as you as you said he needs to get an approval and then his scope is done this is the point of correct okay, okay. Correct. thanks thanks for letting so in this case uh, the customer himself will have his own pmo team and they will be taking that part correct care yes. So yes. that part yes. right yes 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 as a yes. project okay. manager you have to coordinate with him you need to sit with him okay okay Fine. but you will not be doing anything you will not write his project charter okay or else your management will catch you why did you prepare okay. that okay <laughs> yeah. Ismail sir, this uh, uh, project charter will contain what what thing actually? I think budget. Uh, I can I can share you the template project charter template. So in Pimbok, it is already given. What are the exactly it comes? Hello. I believe I believe we'll go through a detailed session about the charter itself, right, Ismail? Do we? Uh, if you want me to go detail, let me check that. Project charter because that is the key, and I believe the first document which is necessary to go through the project. That is the document which controls the whole project. I believe so. Yeah, one minute. Let me see. Okay. Okay. I have that template. So it has also start and uh, end uh, date. Yeah, I'm, I'm sharing. I'm sharing my screen. You see, this this is the project shutter template. I cannot see it. No, no, I'm I'm sure. You ever see now? Yeah. Yes. This is the charter, project charter. You put your department name. You what is the project name, right? And infinite logo. You put that. These are all cosmetics. So this is what I said. Version. You keep the version date. Who has prepared the product? Or what are the? Any this first thing you'll mark it as initial document. If anything now any changes comes, version two dot zero one dot one. When this happened, who has prepared this project? Project charter. What is the initial to different? This difference. What do you have it? You mention over here. Difference. So that anyone is looking. Okay, this we have added another section. Correct. Yeah. Okay. This is the table of content. So introduction, it talks about. You give the introduction. So introduction, then business opportunity. All those things you provide. Strategic alignment. What is it? How? What is the requirement? High uh, high requirement, medium requirement. These are all the things you will, you will mention that over here. Clear? Yes, sir. So this is what. Who is the who is the person? You know what is responsible for that one. So all you will get uh, from business side. Who is the IT side? Who is that person? Right. Then projects. This is where it is. Your statement comes. Project still project scope statement. If any if any scope statement is coming, you add it over here. You keep on adding that. And smile why if it is not confidential, you can share this document. Yeah, I will share that to you. No problem. Thank you. Uh, so can you take a look at the content index itself? Uh, just yeah, yeah, high level. Uh, yeah, high level. Okay. So so what do you do? You provide the project statement. You are Preliminary scope statement. Then, if you are adding new, then add 4.3. 
revised thing then roles and responsibilities of a project man what you are be doing then approach project approach what project approach how you are doing them whether you are following the view process model or we are following agile process model everything you capture it then risk you will identify as i mentioned you preliminary risk um, milestone what am what will be the milestone milestone pay, this is associated with the payments also you know so on the, if i am delivering this module how much of the percentage of milestone i will uh, i will be getting amount right and then a resource forecast this is rough order magnitude estimation budget let's say uh, what is the uh, uh, this is the any rough order budget huh? yeah, not the accurate one accurate one it, it will be later on so you will say okay this is based on initial based on set of requirement this is my budget this is my you are 100000 dollars 200000 dollars right so so what are the staffing essentials is required then technical information what technical what technology you are working on all those details you will be mentioning over here then pro project organization the project governance project governance in the sense like how you are when your minutes of meeting will be happening when you stake a steering committee meeting will be happening uh by we are the meeting or you how you are going to conduct the your meeting by is bi weekly weekly monthly quarterly you name it over here okay and any dependent projects are there if for me uh, if i want to execute project a it has any dependency you mention it over here right depend all the dependencies over here so everything you capture it that's it Finally, you are done. This I'm has to be signed. Project, on. project approach. Pardon. I'll come down here. Can you go to project approach, please? I mean, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm coming. Here. Okay. Yeah. The project approach is like high level business. How you are approaching the project? What you are, uh, which model methodology you are executing the project? You were right. saying that is an agile or agile. Yeah, you technology. mentioned an agile or waterfall process model. Okay. You put here your... one question here. One question. My understanding is that the PMP process is the one. I mean, the, the the pillars. What you said, they follow the process that is PMP. And agile is something we keep gathering the requirement and keep implementing it. This is my understanding. Please correct me if you. Ah, correct. That that is correct. Now, even the agile also follows the PMI product. PMP. Okay. But however, as I told earlier, that we keep updating the scope document. As Correct. We keep we system. keep updating our here. Let's say here you go goes on updating your version history. Correct. We keep on changing. Thanks. Sir, I had a, a query here. What's the difference between the SOW document, project plan, and uh, this project chapter? Huh. SOW because document. Uh, they seem yeah. to overlap. No, no, I will tell you. SOW means statement of work, right? Statement of work goes into the project charter. This is the initial statement of work. Okay. And uh, next, what is it? Uh, planning. Planning in the sense like project, project plan and the uh, yeah, charter. Pro project, uh, yeah, project uh, statement of work goes into the project. That's where the scope of your uh, work that you are defining. This is where it is. This is talks about the opportunity, statement of work. What you are going to do, do that. That it has to go in your uh, uh, project charter. And then project plan, you will be mentioning how you are uh, executing your project. When you are executing, uh, you are, uh, let's say for example, you are delivering, uh, you, are, uh, you are executing a project. What is your start date and what is your end date? Who are the resources working on? What are my critical path? That it talks about the how project. How we plan. are implementing the project? How? How you are implementing it? How? Yes. Correct. That is the project plan. Project plan. And then uh, uh, another another thing you asked, brother. Those are the three project uh, are plan, uh, SOW, and the. Uh, Project yeah. chapter, how, yeah, that, how they so, differ. So everything project plan has to go into your approach. It will go in your approach, project plan. 
here here is the approach you will mention the high level approach so what i understood is uh, charter is a very high level whereas Correct. the details are captured in the sow sir yes sir w as well as the project plan right exactly so this project charter has to be sign off every time you are and the constraints i told uh, remember i discussed on the one slide i talked about the constraints project constraints this is what it is constraints you need to capture the constraints and this project has to be uh, thing and then it has to be accepted and it, uh, if there is any improve other you need to put that improvement and the risk you need to capture the risk so can you can you go back to that constraint thing sir yeah okay here uh, just just a little down yeah uh, here constraint cannot change is mentioned right constraint column just a little down in the following if, table if a constraint if if a constraint is say uh, mentioned as cannot be changed uh, suppose change, change, cost change uh, yeah cost can see cost cannot be changed but uh, if you are adding the new scope right the scope has to be uh, added that is what i was trying to tell sir okay if you are telling a scope uh, of a project can be changed obviously so project, scope no, no, project, the time and cost also scope, go up. no no i will tell you project scope cannot be changed so a scope can be added scope can be added scope can be removed but project scope cannot be changed this is going to be one thing you can add uh, the sorry, requirement i did not get you uh, can you give okay. an example please? i got it. you uh, your project is to deliver uh, uh, a portal right but uh, you cannot okay. say that uh, uh, no don't deliver my portal don't develop my portal you can't say that your your job is you said you want me to develop a product i will do de i'm developing a portal for you right then the, in that portal you add okay. the features and you remove the features that can be changed scope can be okay. altered but scope cannot be changed it can it so can be base altered scope you are saying base base scope will remain so base that you can be. always uh, make correct correct uh, the, the, the related question was if i am saying i am altering the scope retaining ah. the base scope and adding new requirements ah, your your cost will change okay. in in that case time and cost will change yes right? obviously yes because you are well, adding uh, you cannot uh, do free of cost right yeah so you in such a case it. in such a case when i am signing off on this uh, document i have to be very careful that this where is, they have mentioned is, what, what this is can be amended thing, right no no i will tell you brother this is first thing initial when you are initiating the project you will not be doing anything scope will be added scope will be removed you know me you know you will not be knowing anything this is first step on the project you are entering into the project initiation phase at that time what you will be knowing you will not be knowing the scope is going to add scope is going to remove no you gave you based on the uh, statement of work initially what you got you prepare this charter project charter then after when the project as and when the project uh, con uh, continues or grows right or you are into a, a planning phase then there is something come up the new requirement then you go and update the project charter so the scope has been redefined so add that scope over here and take the uh, by uh, approval so the best okay so the best practice here would be to have everything as can be changed right yes it can be it, it has to be Or, right uh, you cannot how do we handle this because no brother what i am saying that I, uh, this is your bible right first thing you prepare the project charter uh, during initiation phase you have prepared the project charter and you have the sign off right let me imagine okay uh, then uh, then you are going to deliver the project then at the, at the at some certain point of time you got some requirement custom ask to implement two new features right okay so what you will do you will say no No, that is where I am trying to say ah, when we sign one, off on this, when you we have up, to right? be very careful. Very so you, you careful have, because have, he may he may go back to this document and say we have said scope can be changed, but time and cost cannot. 
no no can uh, we, uh, you need to uh, you need to be because you are adding a new scope right yeah it is an it, it, it is an enhancement okay yeah it is an enhan enhancement enhancements always uh, it carries a uh, value add to, to your project okay no uh, it's my sub one question no, as uh, you discuss on this uh, so we have agile and this pmp right correct Agile is, you know, adopting the new things continuously and right. satisfying the customer. Correct. Yes. And uh, at the same time, you are saying that in PMP we need to freeze the scope. Then uh, uh, who is a, the right thing? Uh, no, no, both both are right. Both are the both are both are the right things. In Agile, what you do, you say that I will deliver in uh, you deliver the project in terms of the sprint. Yes. Okay. It, in it, sprint, ha. In, uh, in sprint, what will happen? Let's say. you have fixed uh, four features right so uh, when you when you are executing sprint 1 then uh, some what happened customer asked no i want you to uh, add two new features what you will do you will say no right you can't say no to him because we are the customer is demanding so what you will do you will put that the requirements into the backlog okay fine i will deliver it first let me complete this i will take the the new requirements you will put them into the product backlog that product backlog you will take it when you are executing new sprint you will add that from the you take from the product backlog and you will deliver it and you you do the you, you do you do the effort estimation okay for sprint one i have completed then you release my payment as per the sprint one and then uh, then product new requirements okay this is the new requirement came i put into the product backlog and uh, for that uh, this is my effort estimation i am going to deliver this uh, requirement And so and so the in sprint two. After yeah, two that's weeks. why that's why Ismail why sprint backlog cannot cannot be changed, but product backlog can be changed. Pro product back product backlog product backlog you will put the requirements into the product backlog. It yeah, cannot be changed. Yeah, we can remove we can add or remove in the product ha, backlog, but correct. sprint backlog we cannot. We can sprint backlog you cannot do that. So th this is what here same in PMP also. Ha, huh, see, it is one and the same. I told you, no. There, there is no difference. So you got the. Is it clear or uh, any yeah, questions? Yeah, yes, it's that? clear. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. No, if you have any doubt, I can one still. One I can. Question. Uh, we have the previous uh, sort of new related thing. Hello, is that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I uh, you are able to hear me, right? Hello. In agile methodology, we have the different iterations, right? So, how many iterations we can do uh, while we are uh, like uh, uh, managing the project? See, yeah, uh, it uh, it's see, agile is a continual process. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, you know uh, we have a start and end date. Okay, you want to deliver the project in. uh so when you are executing a project the customer knows the your stakeholder knows you are executing the project into the agile methodology and yeah. uh, see it it is the when you are when you say agile right people mindset also into that one you cannot uh, you know uh, you cannot say that uh, i have a set of mindset and then you are executing the project in agile then that will not go work because everyone's mindset has to be in in line with that when you are executing the uh, uh, project under agile because changes do come you have to accept the changes customer also knows that stakeholder also knows that yes i am giving new set of requirement when uh, it uh, cost is going to be impacted my scope going to be impacted but at what is uh, benefit of agile is he is going to see the product in uh, at a very faster pace as compared to the other plan but uh, it will not impact the timeline because uh, every yeah. time like uh, a customer going to change a requirement for example uh, they have given the 20 requirement at the initial of the project and uh, in a iteration one and uh, it's happening continuous changing like uh, they are adding two more or three more Correct. so the project implementation time will extend right Correct. and it will cause lot of things like uh, 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 because the implementation team also will get confused and uh, like uh, at the beginning of the uh, project they uh, got this kind of requirement so no no is, you okay, uh, uh, or uh, in a certain like uh, 
uh, this much like uh, only three iteration or the five iteration we can pick up for this PI uh, like a sprint or drop. Uh, is there any like a criteria for that or? Uh, see what uh, so when you get the requirement, right? You divide that into sprint number of iterations you want to deliver it. Yeah. The project. So during that iteration, uh, let's say for example, and and uh, uh, entire project you are going to compete in five iterations. And five iterations, yeah. uh, one iteration will have number of sprints available. Okay. Each mm -hmm. sprint carries up two uh, two weeks. In okay. in one iteration one, I will be having I will be having four sprints. Right. Okay. So mm -hmm. so in uh, in uh, uh, that sprint you will, okay my iteration one complete release my payment. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And then during that uh, during iteration one. A customer came up and add more requirements. So you take the requirements, you put that into iteration two. Since my iteration mm -hmm. one is fixed, I have to okay, deliver okay. the iteration one on so and so date to you. You put that okay. into iteration two, and mm -hmm. then you calculate the effort. You calculate that effort, and you present oh. that effort and get the approval. You mm -hmm. all it is all it is to do in hand map. Uh, Hand in hand, you can't sit. You know, okay, until iteration one complete, I will do start on iteration two. No, you need to plan for iteration two well in advance when iteration one is going on. See, we have to work. Yeah, understand. And one more question is fine, uh, sir. Uh, what is the Scrum Master or the Scrum Master? Is ah, Scrum there? Scrum Master is a uh, uh, so agile. It comes to the Scrum Master. He takes care of the like uh, we call as a project manager, right? There we call as a Scrum Master. Okay, so Scrum Master is nothing but a project manager. Correct. Right? Yeah, oh. he he takes care of the. He also coordinate with everyone, and then uh, he develops the sprint for you. Okay. okay. In uh, he works along with the product owner. Ismail uh, 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 in uh, Scrum we don't have project manager. I heard. No, we don't. We don't have any project manager. He's a, that's why you call it Scrum Master. Okay, the same role is called as Scrum Master. Yeah, Scrum Master. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what about uh, clear on the star right uh, project chart. So yes, it's my way. Share this uh, file, please. Yeah, I will do that. I will. So we can go through one by one. Yeah, yeah. No problem. And uh, one more question, is my way. What yeah. is the planning like a? Uh, 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 in my pro, actually, I'm working in a company. So we have different PI, like a PI eight, PI nine, or PI five seven. So it it's related to PM or how? No, so, sorry, I didn't I didn't get there. PI planning something I heard a lot of time in my project actually. Uh -huh. so, so what is that term actually? If you are aware or you can. Uh, PI uh, PI planning no. I, I don't know. I, I'll project take that. Initialized pro planning, the initial planning of the project initial planning. Uh, project initial planning, this is like we are already having the during the initiation phase, we do pl prepare the yes. project plan. Yeah, that is PA planning. Huh. So it's so, a, uh, increment planning. Project, okay. project, yeah, project increment planning, yeah. The, any scope, uh, yeah. uh, if you're adding. PA1, PA2. Ha, huh, that yeah, that that one. means uh, you are you are adding the new scope. Uh, Everyone, you are adding the new scope. Then you are preparing the project plan. Yes, yeah, exactly. Every time I heard in my project like uh, this requirement, we cannot uh, complete in this huh. PI. Correct, correct. correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah, that's yeah. where that's where so, the yeah. your, your team is executing the project under agile methodology. So that's where what you say. Okay, yeah. I I cannot take. Uh, this into this uh, print, I will take it to another print. So another, you are talking about the uh, terminology PI1 and PI2, like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, when project managers work with the different teams, uh, this uh, uh, program increment planning uh, comes very handy. So this is what it is. Uh, we uh, focus on the, the initial set of requirements. So this is the first stage. You do that project charter. So 
so all you are you need to be hand in hand saying that okay uh, we are talking onto the same page we are everyone talking to if you are talk english you are talking all in english one cannot talk in english one cannot talk in any french so communication has to be set up set right right so basically this is a job. again i'm reiterating project manager will not prepare the project chatter it is the business who prepare the project chatter project manager is liaison to work with the stakeholder it is not his care it is the responsibility of the project owner sponsor who prepare the project chatter but he is not he is responsible not accountable project manager is responsible for getting the project chatter done but he is not accountable for getting the project chatter done so it's there is a difference like a bridge, right it's more but just like a bridge yeah bridge he is a bridge yes. so so what all the things it goes to the input chatter i showed it right uh, it have business document benefits project manager plan agreements enterprise ef enterprise minimum factor ops and how to do that project chatter these are the tools and techniques you use you use i told you right expert judgment you do the brainstorming you do the interview session or you have the focus groups these are all the things so brainstorming you sit into uh, same sort of mindset of people do the brainstorming onto the requirements put that into the uh, come up with the if i have uh, exact requirement and put that into the project chat then focus group same thing as go then if any interpersonal skills if there are any conflict between between you and the management your stakeholder bring that conflict management facilitate that project manager has to facilitate because uh, stakeholder will say no i have agreed for 100k uh, you are you are saying that 200k that is a conflict bring that conflict clear the conflict arrange a meeting with the steering committee meeting with your meeting with your with your organization manager and and to the steering committee or stakeholder management so bridge them and then get them into the same page okay and then finally the output is what it comes it comes to the project charter and and uh, you have the whatever the assumptions are there you put that into the assumption log and once one job is done for you as a project manager yes my project this is this this will form as a bible for a project manager project charter will form as a bible for the project manager you go with the project charter once the project charter is signed yes this is my project charter if you want to alter anything please update the project charter on to the scope anything is happening update the project chart asmal bhai the can you go back please yeah asmal bhai uh, where is the in this uh, input tools and technique and output at what stage project manager is selected so this is the initial phase everywhere uh, when you are doing that uh, initial itself you have to do that okay okay means you means ki project charter not prepared till now but project manager is already selected and they are doing and preparing the project charter that is wrong the... that is wrong that's a wrong practice then that's why who is doing expert judgment data gathering so big uh, no no it, 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 it's it's up to one one technology you use either you uh, brainstorming you use or focus group you use anything you use it who has will do, who will do all this? <clears throat> a project manager has to collaborate with your uh, uh, your stakeholder team okay okay so it means project manager is already there already mm. has been name has been given and so correct. he has to do a data gathering correct and correct of this and this and he has to prepare the project charter with the help of stakeholder correct exactly he will prepare the project charter you you just provide the inputs to him Okay. Okay. Sir, does this uh, happen in real time? Yeah, uh, very much. Projects, uh, very much. Why not? Or else, why PMA? Why we will do that? 
Yeah, because I came into a project in between, so just uh, ah, trying so, to understand. So that's why, that's, when that's are, why the see, this will be helpful when you are starting a new project. And this is the once like once the project has been signed off, right? Let's say for example, any of the company, big company, they want to uh, they have rolled out an uh, bid, saying that I want you to deliver SAP uh, SCM implementation or uh, ISO IL implementation. Correct. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the SAP guys. So they said they okay. rolled out a uh, uh, bid. So then uh, companies will, they will, what they will do, they will pre-sales team, they will go and they will analyze their uh, uh, criteria, what exactly they want on a high level, huh? not to the lower level. The sales team and pre-sales team. Then pre-sales team, they will prepare the effort estimation, cost, everything. And then they will uh, prepare a technical proposal as well as a pro pro commercial proposal. Once this, those two things done, they will submit the bid and the bid uh, the bidder will you know the company whoever is uh, rolling out this offer right they will call for a technical discussion and then uh, they will uh, select the vendor okay i have selected person x uh, com company x for to deliver my project they have agreed onto the terms and conditions everything then at that time that where it will project manager will get assigned from your company and then project then at that time he has to work with the stakeholder and prepare the project chart clear so, pmp certification is required for the project manager in project charter or the license no no see based on pmp certification uh, is required in the sense like you know let's for example uh, uh, Aramco, if you go those things, there nobody will ask whether you have really you have the PMP certificate or not. But they will look into the uh, uh, expertise. Whether see, uh, let's say for example, if you are not even though I have done my PMP very recently, I have done some 2019. I have done that. Right, 2000 sorry, 2018. I have done that. So at that time, you know. Uh, uh, but I was executing the projects earlier. I was into the similar role earlier. I worked with the, as a, as a, I grown as a, from a developer to the project lead, uh, technical team lead to the project lead. So, so I talk, when you are talking to the stakeholder, you talk into the same, uh, language, right? Then they will be understand. So certification is not mandatory for you to execute the project, but you should be knowing the terminology you should be how you are uh, executing the project that is more important certificate uh, the taking that certificate yes i have passed on even say a, a fresher if he studies uh, uh, if i give the uh, college guy who passed out from engineering college and i gave him the pimbok he will uh, do rata the practice 10 15 mark test paper he'll go and write the pmp he will pass that means I can go assign, assign, uh, and uh, I have passed my PMP certification. Now I'll be, uh, I'm the project manager. Someone will uh, give you the project to him to execute the project without knowing the nitty gritty of the project. So bookish knowledge is not required. Uh, real time exactly. experience. Real time experience. Do, does he know how to calculate the effort? What estimation technology they have used? Him might be ruining. Uh, have a, has he a hands-on on the estimation technology? Function point analysis, he know. Work breakdown structure, he know. He will not be knowing. How will you break down a model into uh, subtask? And subtask, how will you effort? How will you provide? How will you do the effort estimation? How many resources you require? How many hours? Uh, how, one month? How many days it will be working? Someone will take 21 days, some, will, some organization will take 22 days. Actually, to be as per PMA, it should do 21.8 days. So, yes. how will you calculate the effort estimation? So, these are all the yes. things it is required. Huh? You do, once you have the experience, once you, uh, you know the in and out of the pro, uh, means uh, you have earlier worked on it as a project leader, also, and then you should be, you will be easily for you to, to know this. As a fresher, I have done my PMP pass, uh, assign me the project, I will hand in the project manager. No, he cannot done that. It cannot be possible. Uh, I have one query, Smile Bhai. So, yeah. uh, how is the scope 
uh, in a, like a, uh, any industry, for example, you have given the one example in SAP, I am in a success factor, for example, a lead Correct. consultant. So uh, how is the PMP scope for me uh, as a consultant if I want to move uh, into this uh, like a role? Yeah, any, anything, see, I'm telling you, it's a project management is for everyone. It's not like that, you know, not through the freshers, mm -hmm. one thing. But if you are having a uh, exposure, you have worked on the projects as a project leader, then definitely you go for a project manager. Mm -hmm. So okay. it will add value add to you. So you'll be knowing, one is you'll be knowing the domain knowledge. You'll be having the domain knowledge. You'll be having your technical knowledge. Then mm -hmm. if a resource is giving you uh, some 100 hours, 200 hours on some model, you will cross question him, right? Say yes. Members, how, how can you, I have worked on it. I know that I can, uh, if I am giving you this task, I can be able to complete in two, uh, uh, 10 hours or 20 hours. Why you are charging this much of hours? You can question it, right? Then he will also get uh, jittery. Okay, about, I cannot give just like that. Yes, yes. Yeah, you are correct. If you have uh, like a domain or technical knowledge, so definitely you can be uh, in a very good position to run a yeah. project because correct. you can, uh, you will know, uh, you know everything in and out. Like uh, if a specific task, uh, how, how much time will need to deliver that. So you can cross question them and you can say, uh, yeah, this task will not take much more than this, uh, like uh, hours. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, smile by smile by one yeah. thing here now as a project manager he need not know the technical knowledge here right he is okay. not going to do any technical work technical and he will not thing. be not doing yeah so now for example he's doing a project of something a different nature which is, which is not at all his skill at all he don't know anything about all he know the project management skill set that means he, he's very good at the knowledge areas how to prepare the knowledge areas, how to understand the project that way. But in terms of this project, for example, success factors, take a success factor project itself. He don't know anything about success factor except the name. Then still he can go ahead and take care of that project even without knowledge. Suppose you yeah. are talking about the estimation, definitely the first part, what we do as a project manager is we hire the stakeholders. We take a success factor expert and we take the estimates from him. Right. Why a project manager will go and do the, maybe, maybe the high level, of, but, but he has a, if he has experience that helps, but that is also not mandatory. No, right. it's not mandatory. Only, I will tell you, I agree with your point uh, to a certain extent. Uh, see, uh, many of the guys, you know, they, uh, let's say, for example, I, I am a, a banking domain consultant and I'm a, I've executed projects under banking domain. Now, all of a sudden, uh, since I'm a qualified project manager, right? I have, I have the PMP certification. Then if you ask me, uh, tomorrow your organization says, okay, execute uh, SAP projects. So what will a customer will, uh, end, end customer will say agree, but he has experience onto the banking domain and you are asking us to deliver work onto the SAP projects. So definitely what he will do, uh, my, my, I'm not discouraging, you know, uh, uh, saying that, okay, domain knowledge is not required. Domain knowledge plays a very, very vital role. Of course, I agree. But for the project management pos, uh, point of view... Project, project manager project perspective project... not required. Project management yes. PMI does not say that uh, you need to have a domain knowledge. But in order for you to succeed, if you are, when you're standing in front of your stakeholder, if you are talking as a project manager, if you, are, if you know the subject expert, it had lots of value add. Definitely, I agree to that one. But uh, as a project manager, I mean, I mean, the people who are going for the certification for mm -hmm. PMI, once they get certified, they should be, I mean, with the, if they are good in the knowledge about the project management, they should be able to do any type of project. Just I'll take a vague, vague example. Suppose tomorrow NASA calls you as a project manager and asks you to launch a rocket, you should be able to with, with the yes. confidence. Yeah, that you can do that. Yes. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying that they cannot do that. They will do that. Yes. As a project manager, they will do that. But uh, today, in today's today's point of view, today's customer demanding, they are more uh, because I have uh, I have 20 years experience, right? I'm I'm looking like if I, if I, if you are applying uh, uh, a manufacturing domain, but you are applying for a SAP or a banking domain or an uh, oil and gas domain project, then they will not. They will be weightage to those project managers who have already domain knowledge. 
of course of course so definitely that, 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 that is what it is that is what i meant brother yeah yeah, yeah. but pro, as a project manager you can do any job you will do that even a, a con construction also he will do that construction project also to you are right yeah yeah so this is what i will talk about in enterprise infrastructure develop project plan the same thing talks so I, I i earlier i discussed right what are the lessons learned guidelines templates what templates has to use authorization forms you know what timing has to uh, need, uh, any timing reporting has to do, everything needs to capture into the project chart it goes over here tools and techniques data gathering focus group interviews meetings project kick off sprint or iteration planning daily stand up meeting for if you are executing the project under the agile methodology and retrospect meeting also so conflict manager management facilitation meeting management yeah same thing goes then output is your project charter and assumption log these are the two outputs so what do you have to do when i will show you right uh, so here what you have to do you have put here in initiation phase oh, okay i'll share my screen so i want everyone to practice this so it will be helpful so integration phase project charter right then you have to project charter uh, then you have uh, ops it come from here yeah and output this is an, this is the input right so you need to like this you need to each and every process so if you practice this one then you will be knowing okay integration phase initial uh, input in business requirement or statement of work okay then uh, ops ef then output what i am getting project chatter and assumption log so what is opa uh, oh opa is okay operational process group process in this i don't know assumptions assumptions assumption ef is environmental effect environment factor what yeah the search so like this i want each and every this it has to go each and every thing what input is required and from here what it goes this is a, this is input this is output output input come to here project chart you right here it forms a linkage everything is linked to each and everything here yeah. input one is your project charter next is to project plan like so i'll cover to this i'm covering so like this. and this input it goes over here what input here and output output 
आउटपुट कम प्रोजेक्ट प्लान प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट प्लान ओके फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन यूल गेट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट प्लान So I'll cover come. I'll come like this. Each and everything it comes here. Clear, yeah, right? One minute, guys. I'm getting them. So. so guys you are under, you are understanding right this is what every process go we need to prepare that so once you prepare this chart once you are at any given point of time if you are able to what the input what the output for each and every process go then you are ready for the your project management certification clear right okay yeah yeah clear yeah so this is next is the project management plan so the these are the so we'll now it's 11 o'clock what do almost all done we'll cover tomorrow yes okay. yes yes yeah it's better so i, th I think to, uh, today is uh, you are too much of uh, dumb i have dumb so much of knowledge to you so you guys go and you can understand this Know how it goes probably tomorrow we can start more a fresh thing under the project management plan okay thank you thank you thank you, thank you, you, your, uh, thank you very way. much thank you very uh, much can you share the slide uh, which you are discussing now on yeah yeah i will share the slide no actually this file is shared already i have already shared this slide yeah, everyone has uh, it okay in the group uh -huh. in the group okay. already i'll share that. i'll check yes we have pdf file yes yeah pdf i have already shared this Okay. And uh, this is just on the overview. Uh, don't uh, because I want you to read Pimbok. Pen, uh, okay. Pimbok uh, because uh, Pimbok will give each and every de very detailing. So I'm uh, talking. Yeah. Uh, this I this I will because I'm uh, I'm explaining to you under the now uh, the uh, what even so. Uh, it's the, way you shared Pimbok fifth edition I think. Sixth no, edition. No, seventh edition. Seventh edition I have shared. Seventh edition. I shared seventh edition. So we just have to uh, study sixth edition or seventh edition. Seven, so study seventh edition. It, it is one and the same. Everything is same. If so, someone can just share it again, uh, it will be helpful for people. Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday I shared. I think yesterday. Yeah. Inbox seven. Yeah. Yesterday I shared. Yesterday I have shared. Uh, one thing I will share. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. I will have, have it. Yeah. It is in Telegram group. You have shared. No, what's not telegram group? whatsapp What's group i have shared telegram i have not added yeah i just shared the spin box seven yeah okay WhatsApp group. so any any password uh, there is no password okay. yeah. and and, and uh, rita mulki also you study rita mulki also rita mulki is also very good because pimbok uh, you know uh, the uh, the english is very very difficult to understand pimbok and uh, Rita Mulke is very easy, so you can able to grasp. It's the sixth edition, right? Uh, Pimba Rita Mulke. I don't know uh, when I was uh, 2018. It was ninth ninth edition came. I don't uh -huh. know which edition is there. Okay. I lost track. I I know I can check that and I'll tell you which is the latest yeah, version of Rita Mulke. Tenth edition. Let us the tenth edition. Twelfth edition. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Tenth. Sorry, tenth. Tenth edition. Okay. So, so uh, Rita Mulke. Yeah, yeah. Sure. What's I have some, yeah, I have uh, so much of uh, dumps also. I will share the dumps probably, you know. You can have if you practice Spy all those things. Have, uh, project management pillar is there. Pardon? In in your PDF. Huh, pillar of the project management is yeah, there. Yeah, it is there. No, everything is all everything is there. Okay. 
given so this uh, by, uh, every saturday sunday this uh, meeting would be there or uh, yeah is every saturday sunday because uh, weekday for me it is little bit difficult okay it's for 3 months exactly uh night start it will not take 3 months probably <laughs> uh we will try to uh, one one and a half month we will try to complete that normally uh, people will complete in two weeks they will complete because now i am going slow mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. if you go to institute they will not uh, they will not go give so many examples yeah so i am i'm sort of i'm getting so that uh, you guys can uh, uh, get the practical exposure that's why i'm giving more and more examples so they will if you go to any apr to uh, any institute right they will on high level they will tell so thank you very much sir that's what i face the challenges that's thank why thank you very much ismail no bhai problem. jazakallah khair thank you very much ismail no bhai jazakallah khair ismail bhai thank you ismail bhai ji ji send the slide again on the whatsapp group because i have joined the group now Okay. Fine. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank